Lots of people wondering, is the rapture coming this week? My response, it's highly likely. I mean, the earth is crying out. The nations are crying out. The stars are crying out. All these signs are converging to let us know Christ is coming back. And he's going to rapture his church. Then there's going to be a seven-year tribulation. And then we'll have a thousand-year millennial reign with Christ, followed by the new heaven and new earth. I'm not going to get into the details of that today because what I want to make sure is that you are rapture ready. I posted a video just a couple days ago um, about why I think the rapture could be this week. I didn't expect it to take off like it did. It's now been seen by over 30,000 people, over a thousand comments on this video. I mean, wow, it's awesome. But uh, it opened my eyes to something that's that's kind of troubling, to be honest with you. Um, there's this idea out there that once you're saved, once you repeat the salvation prayer or however you want to, however you want to say it, that you don't have to worry about how you live or anything like that. That's, that's all you need to go to the, in the rapture. And I'm just like, mm, I, I don't buy into that. And it's not that I think that we can work our way into heaven. That's, that's not it at all. I believe in the grace of God. I believe that the only way to salvation is by believing in Jesus Christ and confessing with your mouth that he is Lord. That's, that's all it takes. But here's what's interesting. When you believe that, your life reflects what you believe. The word says that once we receive Christ, his law is written on our hearts. And the word also says that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So once you're saved, once you're sealed with the Holy Spirit, it becomes evident in your life as you work out the righteousness that's been planted on the inside of you. You see, righteousness or right living comes to us, comes to us as a free gift from Christ. He gives us righteousness. We put it on. It becomes who we are. We are the righteousness of God in Christ. So to say that we can just go on living in sin, that sin doesn't matter. I mean, that, what a slap in the face to Jesus Christ who has set us free from sin. See, that's, that's what people are missing. People understand that there's forgiveness of sin through Christ, and that is 100% true. But what they forget or what they fail to see in scripture is that he didn't just forgive our sin. He freed us from sin. Like he he broke the power of sin over our lives. And I am a living testimony that you can live free from sin. It is not hard for me to live free from sin. And I'm not tooting my own horn. Here's what made the difference. Because I can remember uh, struggling with sin, right? And what made the difference is when I received by faith the fact that Jesus Christ made me righteous. I received that by faith. There's nothing that I can do to be made righteous. Jesus did that for me. He had the perfect performance, and then he attributed that to me. And once I received that by faith, it became really easy to live a righteous life. And here's how it works. When there's something in my life that doesn't belong, the Holy Spirit says, hmm, we should, move, we should get that out of your life. I say, okay. And so he helps me to get it out of my life. He gives me the power to live clean. He gives me the power to live pure. <sighs> I, I'm concerned for all the people out there who who heard my, my message in my previous video about being rapture ready means being on fire for God and not being lukewarm. And, they, and, and their rebuttal to that is, it's not our own righteousness. I never said it was. I never said it was. I'm just encouraging you to live out what Jesus Christ has provided for you. Don't mess around with the world. Don't flirt with the world. Don't let Jesus find you lukewarm when he comes back to get his church. Because I'm not sure that the lukewarm are going to make it in the rapture. I, I mean, you, you look at scripture and there's a reason he says to watch and pray as we're waiting on him to return. Watch means to look out because your enemy is coming after you and he wants you to live a life of sin. So watch for that. Be aware of his devices and don't give in to him. Watch and pray. Connect yourself with God through prayer, through conversation with God, through declaring his word. Watch and pray. And then we also have, of course, in Revelation 3, where it says he's going to spit the or some, some translations say he's going to vomit you out of his mouth if you are lukewarm, meaning you have just enough of the world, just enough of him, there's hot, there's cold, and you're somewhere in the middle. You're, lu you're lukewarm. Don't be lukewarm. You don't have to be lukewarm because here's the deal. For every temptation, he provides a way out. He's given you the power to live pure. He's given you the power to live clean. He's given you the power to live righteous. He has freed you. He has set you free from the power of sin. You can receive that today. You can receive that by faith today. You could have been living in sin all this time, 
believe in this lie that you couldn't be free from sin, that we're all going to sin from now on, but you can change that right now by believing in your heart. I've been set free from the power of sin. And that, that is how you stay rapture ready. Live a righteous life, not because you're trying to earn something from God, but because of what he gave you. Receive what he gave you. Put on the gift of righteousness and walk it out. Jesus is coming soon. I believe it's highly likely he could come this week. But even if he doesn't, you can live free from sin all the way up until the day he comes. And I want to be counted worthy to escape. How about you? Maybe you're watching this and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You just realize, you know, hmm, maybe, maybe I'm not saved after all. If you don't have absolute peace that you're saved through Jesus Christ, you can change that right now. The Word of God says, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and confess with your mouth that he is Lord. Meaning, you know what? I'm laying down my own life. I'm taking up the way of Jesus. And that's what it takes to be saved. You just receive what he has done for you. He died in your place. God came down in the flesh through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He was fully God and fully human. And when he was sacrificed on the cross, he paid the penalty of your sin. He paid the consequences of your sin. He set you free from sin. He did all that when he died on the cross. And then he rose again and he is now seated with the Father in heaven. But he's going to come back and get us soon. Believe that. Confess that. Be bold that I am a Christ follower. I believe in Jesus Christ. He is my salvation. He is my source. And that's what it takes to be saved. You can make that decision right now. And for those of you who have been lukewarm, hmm, just get on fire for God. Fan the flame, my friend. Don't live in that lie anymore that you have to give in to sin and things like that. No, live free from sin because Jesus Christ made that available to you. Tab, you receive it by faith. This is nothing that you, you can't earn this. You don't have to live a certain amount of days righteous before you're counted worthy to escape. No, this is something you receive by faith. You know what? Christ has made me righteous, which means I'm going to live righteous. And it's going to be easy because it's his power working in me. It's his power working in us. Aren't you thankful? Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for what you're doing in us, for this power that you gave us. Thank you for freeing us from sin. What a great pr privilege it is to live righteous before you because you have enabled us to live righteous. Lord, we are looking forward to your coming. We know you're going to rapture the church, that you're going to get us out of the way before the destruction comes. And we're so grateful for that. Lord, we want to be counted worthy to escape. So we're watching and we're praying and we're looking forward to your coming in Jesus' name. Amen.